Hello and welcome to the Green Gear basic fault finding demonstration. Here I'll run through some common reasons why the generator may have failed to start. First of all, we need to check the oil level. So what we do is we undo the dipstick. And we need to make sure the oil is filled to the bottom threads as shown here. The reason for this, the oil sensor is situated at the top of the engine and a low oil level will stop the engine from starting. And then we just replace the dipstick. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go around to the gas and check the gas. So when you've got your generator, you'll receive a hose and regulator. So connect them together. And on the regulator, there's an adjustable knob. I want you to wind that clockwise all the way down to the bottom. That will give the generator maximum gas. Next, we need to check to make sure the spark plug cap is on properly. Sometimes in transit, they do bounce off. So make sure that that is on top of the plug. Then we'll go to the gas bottle, turn the gas on, and then we'll prime it through the inner kit. There you can hear the gas coming through for about two seconds. And then we go to start the unit. Now, if there's excess vibration in the engine, it's probably caused by one thing, and that's the transportation bolt, which is situated here at the side of the engine. We must move that in all cases.